So I've got a little project to do, and that is to complete my solar power wall or power fence, which consists of these three solar panels, 80 or 100 watts. Two of them are 80, one of them is 100. You can probably see which way around that is. Uh, three big Trojan batteries and what will be three solar charge controllers like this one and it's the PWM5 which is my own solar charge controller design so that's at about 12.3 volts now I reckon if I had all three of these with charge controllers on the panels because those two left hand panels currently aren't really doing anything um, I could lift the voltage on these three Trojans a bit higher. They're also linked together. You can see the linking wires which are hung up on hooks there. One between those two batteries and one between those two. I'm going to replace those because at the moment they're copper coated aluminium. And I want to link them a little bit more with a higher current rating. Because uh, those CCA wires are quite high resistance. So they're not linked very hard. I want to link them together a bit more. Now I don't want them to be bus barred together because that would mean that um, as soon as they all got up to uh, float voltage that one of the charge controllers would do all the work and I want to distribute the work between all three panels, all three batteries and all three charge controllers. So I'm going to link them together with small cables so that they don't completely, uh, they're not locked together as it were. Now at the moment I'm using the energy in these three batteries, more the one on the right really because that's the one that actually has the charge controller, to power the lighting in my shed. Now ignore the big solar panel there because that charges the power bank in the shed which kind of does other things, but the lighting in the shed runs off those three Trojan uh, batteries, in other words my power fence. There's a big heavyweight cable that comes up here to this chocky block and then there's a thin cable that runs into the shed and inside there are a couple of uh, lead acid gel batteries so they're also linked to the um, solar power fence there's a voltmeter on there then there's a cable that runs up to this panel there's another voltmeter there they don't all quite agree and this is my lighting panel, so I can turn those lights on, those lights on, or that light on. I've got three separate circuits. And at the moment, this system is just about coping. It can just about provide me with a couple of hours or three or four hours of lighting energy uh, from these two batteries, which, as I say, ultimately comes from the power wall um, every couple of days. But I want to get those two additional charge controllers on so that it's just a much more robust system and these batteries are kept fully topped up. Now of course heating, and I do require heating in the shed, is done totally differently. It's done via mains. Here's my mains uh, distribution unit. There's a little sort of mini consumer unit there. This is a caravan power distribution box, but I've got the three uh, plugs going to the three ant miners. So they provide the heat, but they also earn cryptocurrency. Uh, the two miners on the left are far more efficient for whatever reason. They are script algorithm miners. The one on the right is a SHA-256 algorithm miner, and it's nothing like as um, uh, good at earning money, but of course it does pump out the heat. So yeah, I mean, I can get this shed quite warm when those three are on. At the moment though, it's cold. You can see uh, zero degrees Celsius in the uh, line at the bottom, right in the middle there. Well, that's the temperature in here at the moment. It's cold.